понял под моим управлением. Наблюдаю у вас 292. Some of the skins in this trophy. I wanted to make this video just to show a little bit of the skins that are on the market right now. Um, that was added with the Winged Lions update trophy. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. I know it's just a kind of a kind of a lame video, but uh, I, I care very much about the the skins that they add. Uh, so. Yeah, just a normal video uh, before I make the video on the FRJ and the F105. Keep an eye out. This week will come. And after that, probably next weekend, uh, next week, I mean, uh, indeed last week of the of the year, probably we will be starting the Israel nation, I think. Maybe, I don't know, but yeah, probably. So let's get into it. So when you get the... The, the the box you can see all these skins and some vehicles as well so you can get it on the market by gaijin uh, buying by gaijins which is the dollar currency of gaijin so when once you open you can get any of these skins okay so let's get into it so you can get a ton of vehicles as you see here and uh this decal which is pretty cool uh but let's check the skin so the first one and then they're going to go along this way, okay? So yeah, here you have the uh, no, the second skin. Um, finished loading now. Uh, it's from a squadron, uh, basically a um, aerobatic squadron from Sweden. As you see, it's a historical camo. So yeah, pretty cool, right? Pretty, actually kind of pretty, pretty weird for the SK60. I forgot to mention, yeah, but pretty interesting, but weird at the same time. So this one for the Mirage 3, pretty cool. It's from the Royal Australian Air Force from 1981, uh, the Mirage 3. So pretty cool camo. I just, I'm kind of mad with the Gaijin because they choose this type of camo, uh, like a normal camo. I think it's a normal camo for the, for some countries. And then for my country that it's Brazil, as you're going to see in a bit, we get just aerobatic camos and celebration camos instead of the normal ones i really would like the brazilian normal camo for the mirage but and the f5 for that matter but yeah pretty cool right look at it this one if it's cheap i probably will buy it it's pretty cool camo in general it's pretty modern actually so we have a Ros uh, rosso uh, camo for the italian f104 of course rosso means red so it fits <laughs> but yeah pretty it's pretty cool, but it's too much red. Look at it. Jesus Christ. Probably an aerobatic camo as well, but pretty cool, right? Pretty cool, semi-historical. Uh, pretty cool. So we have a, a very interesting layout of camo. A uh, Jolly Roger uh, black camo for the BV-138, which is pretty funny to have this. Uh, but yeah, pretty pretty interesting. Not too much to, to talk about it, but it's just black. So yeah, pretty cool in general. Pretty, pretty all right. I w would not buy this one, but yeah, pretty st still pretty cool. So another camo for the MiG-23. It's the second patch in a row that we get one. Like Jesus Christ, look at this. <laughs> but yeah, it's the Hellfighter camo. It's um, like a birthday camo from for the 50 years of the Air Force of the fighter squadrons or something uh, but it's pretty pretty interesting i would not buy because i, I personally don't like uh, like this flashy type of uh, skins that used were used by aerobatic teams or any type of uh, celebration i really don't like it but it's pretty interesting to see more camos for the the mig 23m uh, I, I would like to see some of the of the camos go to the mld but yeah still pretty cool so here is one of the skins that i i should like because it's from my country but i kind of don't because i don't know i i still prefer the normal skin that i use in this aircraft as you know i use a a normal pampa squadron uh, skin but this is pretty cool uh, it is a brazilian that made this so it's pretty cool in that manner uh but yeah pretty interesting lots of skin of a tiger here but yeah i mean it is the tiger right so <laughs> i guess it fits but it's uh, the celebration of 30 years of something but i don't remember i think it's the jean box squadron no it's not 
because the Jumbox Squadron existed before. Oh, it's the it's the anniversary of the F5E, basically. So of uh, in service with the Brazilian Air Force. So pretty pretty cool in general, but it's probably going to cost a lot, and I'm probably not gonna buy it because of it. Still prefer the, the normal squadron green one, but still. So while it's loading, uh, I would talk about the tanks and stuff and boats, but normally people like the most of the aircraft, especially in my channel, so I'm just going to talk about the aircraft. Uh, as you see, we have the AC-38, the premium one. Uh, it has a, a, a skin, so it's a pretty cool. It's from combat tests in Afghanistan in 1980, so we have pretty interesting aircraft pretty interesting layout if you have the Yak-38, uh, remember it's the premium one, so yeah. And we have an F-5C from the Royal Canadian Air Force uh, as the aggressor squadron of the Royal Canadian Air Force, which is pretty cool if you think about it that actually this, I mean, the F-5s in general have a lot of aggressor skins, but now we have one from Canada, so yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, remember it's the F-5C, which is the premium. I kind of don't like the idea of the premium one receiving and not the, the other ones, just because a lot of people need to buy the aircraft first, but uh, anyway, it's pretty pretty interesting, and it's a pretty cool camo, I like this kind of one tone, but it goes from a blue to a, a grey, and the red uh, letters and stuff, so pretty cool, right? So we have a very similar to the normal skin, um, to the F... 9F, uh, it's from the VF-153, uh, so yeah, pretty cool, let's see, it was used in the USS Yorktown, the CV-10, in 1954, so semi-historical, pretty cool camo in general, i probably not going to get this because it's a, a very low tier aircraft that I don't fly very often, but still pretty cool to have historical skins, I think it's a, uh, it's a semi-historical, but still, pretty cool aircraft. So we have here one of the skins for the FRE, uh, it's an aggressor skin for the, I think it's for the, let's see, NAS Miramar, I don't know, I, I remember this type of skin was used as a, an aggressor skin because it kind of looks like a MiG-17, uh, but I might be wrong, uh, but still very cool, apparently it's for the Marines, so yeah, it has even the name of the of the pilot, the Captain Falter Carrot. So yeah, pretty cool, right? Pretty interesting. It looks like a MiG if you if you look from the side. But look the the thing. Yeah, pretty interesting. So this is one of the controversial ones. Uh, some people really like it. Some people really hate it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of don't like it, but still. Uh, it's historical, so yeah, that's kind of weird, but it looks like a, a snake or something, and it's Languedoc, I, I'm butchering the French of, of this, but it's from Saint Dizier Robinson Air Base in 2000, so it's a pretty modern skin, another commemoration or something, so yeah, I, I really don't like this type of skin, guys, I, I don't know why, but I really don't like it. So we have a new skin, of course, for the... So, and the other skin that we have is the A7E. It's the Olympus. Uh, it was from the um, Greek Air Force, the Hel Hel Hellenic Air Force. Uh, the 336th uh, Bombardment Squadron. Uh, it's from an air show, but it's pretty interesting. Fly low, hit hard, yeah, look, jeez, but, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this, air tattoo, Two th uh, 14, is this from 2008, the squadron and the name, yeah, pretty cool, right, pretty, I mean, I, I still don't like this type of weird camo, but uh, it's pretty, this one is pretty interesting. And we have one more for the Pior Minsky, uh, so the, the Finnish aircraft, uh, probably for the, yeah, so basically after the Second World War, you'll see the, the new uh, Roundel, the 
Cold War Roundel for the, the Finnish Air Force. Pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, then the normal one. Oh, the normal one also used this one. But there was a couple of ones they used the swastika. Not in War Thunder, but you know. So we have another Polish skin for the for the IL-10, which is kind of weird because we already have one. Uh, but uh, this one is a lot better, as you see, a lot cooler. So just a normal one, doesn't have much to say about it, but yeah. Oh, we have here uh, the 55th anniversary of the Japanese uh, Self-Defense Air Force uh, from New Tabaru Air Base 2004, Jesus. Uh, so another one for the Kai, historical one. Pretty interesting one, actually. Looks like a Pikachu. But, I don't know, man. Look at this. This is so yellow. <laughs> Holy Jesus. They like to do this type of weird skin, right? I mean, I find it weird. For me, it's like a... F it works for DHL or, some DHL or something. Or Shell. <laughs> but, yeah, for, for some kind of company like that. But, yeah, pretty pretty interesting. Not my cup of tea, but yeah. So an aircraft that normally doesn't get uh, picked on too much, but uh, uh, from uh, the Royal Air Force, the Shackleton, as you see, uh, it's a uh, damn, it's a uh, uh, a 1970 camo, probably like after to an air show or something. But pretty cool, right? Looks like a, an air transport aircraft from the 40s, but yeah. So, another one for the Tempest, so pretty cool. Uh, kind of bright, like a gray, but like a, a light gray or... Uh, yeah, like, like not polished, but a little bit. Uh, pretty interesting. It's from 1950s, so late war, uh, after the Second World War. Pretty interesting, has even like a... Um, a call sign, not a call sign, uh, the matriculation of the aircraft or something, but yeah. And the last one that we have, it's downloading here. Uh, I, I was just showing the, of course, the, the aircraft uh, because I kind of don't play the tanks and boats. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, just enter the market and take a look. I just wanted to actually show to you guys the proper camos for you to actually enjoy. So we have a Mi-24V, apparently for the Mexican Navy, which is pretty interesting. I mean, this is kind of one of the most amazing skins for the, this, uh, this aircraft, just because it's from Mexico. Mexico. So I did not know it was that they used this, air this aircraft. It, it, it's even in Spanish, uh, the, the red uh, advisor signs and stuff so marina which is probably mean navy in spanish uh yeah the, this the round hill here for the, the air force navy probably pretty cool guys look at this yeah pretty cool but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i was just showing the the, the aircraft skins today make sure to subscribe c click the like button and i promise uh, mo normal videos coming up uh, this week, I know this weekend was kind of the first video was uh, just a, a winter event video, and this one is just the scans. But I'm just preparing the other videos, so I just wanted to make this video, make kind of a test, see people like to see the, the new skins and stuff. So yeah, pretty cool, right? So I see you guys in the next one. Subscribe and bye.